Hi, I'm Haley Morgan with Milton Today TV. We're here at Bishop Reading High School. We're talking with the Halton Regional Police about safety and prom. For the Halton Regional Police Service, traffic has always been a priority and it remains at the forefront of all of our community concerns. And we take a three-pronged approach to our traffic uh, plan. It involves enforcement, it involves engineering, and importantly, it involves education. And during a review of our plan in 2010, we uh, undertook an initiative to enhance the educational component of it with a specific focus on youth. In 2010, we had 13 fatal motor vehicle collisions, and six of those involved people between the ages of 17 and 25. And we thought it was incumbent to work on our messaging to that age group in an effort to reduce the number of fatalities. And it was also geared towards hoping to instill better driving habits in the early years of their driving careers. And as we come to the safe prom season, it was time to uh, refresh that a little bit and take the, uh, the picture from Matthew's collision and mine down into a little bit further. And you'll note on the posters that are shown here today that is now aptly titled, titled Matthew's Story. And what it does is I'd, I'd like to share that with you, but it certainly hits home about the importance of making effective decisions and keeping yourself safe. If I could just start off by saying Matthew was a really good kid. He made some really good decisions the night that he died, but there was only one bad decision that resulted in, in what happened here. On March 26, 2010, 17-year-old Matthew McGregor was at a party with his friends. And that night, as I said, he made many good decisions. He had been drinking and he made the right choice by staying at the party overnight. And in the morning, he walked home. But when he got home, he realized that he needed to get something from the store. But because it was just around the corner, he decided to drive. By 5.30 a.m. that morning, Matthew was dead. He was killed in a single motor vehicle collision and he was less than three minutes from home. So if you are drinking, please make sure that you take the time to sober up before you even consider driving. People often assume that they are okay to drive, even after a few hours, when in fact they are still under the influence. So please consider Matthew's story when you get into a car, either as a driver or as a passenger. You have a responsibility to yourself. I'm here with Bob Percy, the Deputy Chief of Operations. Could you tell us a little bit about what some of the uh, safety tips for students for prom night? Absolutely. There's a series of them there and it uh, talks about our focus right now is a lot on the driving and making sure that people aren't drinking or doing drugs and then getting into a motor vehicle, either as a driver or a passenger. But we also want them to be aware of their surroundings and make sure that they're always with a friend and somebody who's responsible and knows who they're with and where they're going at all times. We also like to encourage that if you are not taking a limousine or you haven't arranged a ride with some friends to make sure you do have a safe way home. Whether that means taking a cab, whether that means going with uh, somebody else whose parents are picking them up, just to make sure that it's a good time, it's a great venue, it's a memorable one and that everybody gets home safely.